in 2019, Ghana exited its last IMF program, but in less than three years, the country is headed back to the Bretton Woods institution for a bailout. Despite the fact that the matter was not officially on the other paper of parliament, Deputy Majority Leader Alexander Fenyomarking broached the issue on the floor. They were trying to create by this candid decision by government through a statement issued honorable, by the Minister honorable, of Information. It's as though they know nothing about IMF. You have been to the IMF, Mr. Speaker. You honorable were not confronted by an international crisis. You went to honorable IMF because of this money. Why are you not telling us that we are going to IMF? When you would, Mr. Speaker, grant me the space. Mr. Speaker, when they were in government, there was no international crisis. You went to IMF. Other MPs spoke to City News on the matter. Just last month, the Minister of Finance organized an encounter with the media, and you heard him right. He said, whatever it is, the last thing they will do is to go to the IMF. So I was surprised when I saw that government is now running. They're not even walking to uh, IMF. They are, they are running speed to go to the IMF. Just a couple of hours ago, Muhammad the Messiah told them that, look, go to the IMF. And I'm happy that you have listened to him. One thing left is that they should fire the Minister of Finance. Because Mama added it to the recommendation that he made to government. And if they don't fire him, we are not going anywhere. He will mess up whatever bail out that, bail out that we are going to get from IMF. The no government will say that I want to impoverish the lot or uh, make people live uncomfortable for their citizens. The no government, what is sort of do that. But certain circumstances beyond your control will lead to some hardships we, which we all agree to. So, Clearly, the MPP government has taken a bold decision to engage the IMF in a way that Ghana can get a program. Obviously, to implement that will in a long way bring about the economic stability that we all want. I've always said that Ghana first. I'm first a Ghanaian and second a politician. But I want to reiterate the fact that this administration has unfortunately delayed too long. It has taken them too long to take a very simple decision and to work very hard to get a program. What they've done today is something that anybody at all can do by engaging the IMF. What is critical is you getting the program. The Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, was on the floor to respond to questions on the relocation of the May Power Plant to Kumasi. The direct, unequivocated answer is that it is not yet known because no contract has been signed yet. If you do, I can give a breakdown. The total cost, as in the question, what is the total cost of a relocation of America is not yet decided because we haven't signed the contract yet. They are still negotiating at the level of VRA and the Ministry of Energy. In order to sound as if I may not have answered my colleague's question, which will be an affront to the House. Uh, I can, on authority, say that I can give a breakdown, but since we hadn't signed off, that is why I couldn't answer that particular question. But, Mr. Speaker, if it's an international contract, it definitely will come to this House before uh, it is even signed off finally. The Minister for Food and Agriculture was also in the House to answer questions on the shortage of weedy sites and other matters. MP for Central Town, Alexander Hotoje, who asked the question, spoke to City News. We decided that I saw a thing in 2016 at 14 cities are now being sold to the 70 cities. And people cannot afford. They are complaining every now and then. I come from an agrarian constituency and the people have been crying every now and then complaining that the prices of weed size is rocketing many of the members of parliament that i've spoken to in principle are not opposed to an imf program but what many of them are talking about is the kind of negotiations that government would enter into and the results that would proceed from that negotiation which would ensure that the prescriptions from the IMF 